Hey, we at the combine right now. Love it out here in Arizona, man. We out here in Arizona right now, working with Martin Emerson and Alante Taylor. We're headed to the field right now to get our second workout in. Uh, I think this is my sixth or seventh time out here in AZ. Um, he's made a lot of progressions, man. I'm really proud of him and Alante. They both came in. Uh, Martin came in. He was about 194 pounds. He's 205 right now, uh, less than 6% body fat. Alante, same deal. He came in at about 187. He's about 198 right now, less than 6% body fat. They both look lean. They are both just look good right now, man. Yesterday, actually, they both PR'd in the 40. Um, they were timing the back end splits of the 40-yard uh, the dash, and they both hit the fastest times they've hit since they've been there. So clearly, they've been putting in a lot of great work, man. What thing you click on? I'm finna set y'all up. Like they do at the combine, you know, the combine they have on the hashes. So I'm trying to set it up a little tight so they know they gotta stay in a straight line. So we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna come up right foot on the line, just like they do at the combine. So raise that right hand, just like they do at the combine. Right foot up. We here. We pushing off. Make sure we pushing off. Hey, front foot. I ain't gonna throw the ball on the first one. I don't think you get a ball on this one. You just turn it. Yeah, and run. Remember, it's a split. When they timing the ten yard split. So when you, whenever, yeah, whenever, I'm gonna hold you. Look, I'm gonna hold you in it. But be patient. Be patient, bro. Right hand up. Right hand up. Right hand up. Right hand up. Right foot up. Real patient. Real patient. Accelerate. I'm raving on Martin a little bit, man. He's. I, I see a lot of. Uh, it's a. It's a lot of potential in Martin, man. As he's a. It's an unorthodox corner because he's he's real big. Like he's he's a little over 6'2", 205 pounds. You know, twitchy. Got good footwork, um, but he's smart. You know, played well in the SEC. I want to say the last two seasons, his sophomore and junior season, he graded out combined like an 89.7 or something like that, which was top two. Him and McCurry out of Auburn had the top two, uh, you know, grades according to PFF. So. You know, his career is solid. I mean, he started as a freshman in the SEC. We already know this is, you know, it's the toughest conference to play in in America. And for him to go in there and stamp himself at a, you know, historical school like Mississippi State that's known for, you know, putting defensive players, uh, defensive players out high in the draft, him going in there and being able to compete and hold his own at a school like that, man, I feel like that's impressive. Man. Go. Turn, get out. Not bad. Last week of combine prep, bittersweet. It's time to cash out, though, real talk. It's time to cash out. Whole lot of money on the table. We're going left. We're going left foot up, left foot up, left hand up. Turn it left. Turn it left. Ready? Go. Turn, get out. There we go. That's Flipping not bad, over bro. to Alante, man. Like, Alante, he's got a, another kid with a super high ceiling. Like, I mean, the kid can fly. Put together well, like probably like six one, six foot six one. He's real physical. Like just looking at him, you wouldn't think he played the game the way he does. But he's super physical. You know, not afraid to tackle, uh, not afraid to just get his hands dirty. Just you know, get his hands on receivers. And you know, like I said, 198 pounds, almost 200 pounds, and can fly. And one thing that really stands out about me, about Alante, is his his willingness to learn. Like he really is wants to be a student. He really wants to become better at, you know, the the fundamental side, the technical side of the game. And I feel like, you know, if an elite athlete starts thinking that way, that's when their game starts to shoot up, starts to excel. You start to see them, you know, in the right place more, more often than not. Go. Turn. <laughs> not bad. All right, hey, now we're going to go. Martin, we're gonna go right at three turn. I'm gonna throw the, I'm gonna hit y'all with a ball at the end of this one. Right, left, right, ball. Remember, keep your shoulders over your toes, keep your core tight. The whole the whole every, every time you every time you turn and turn and pull, you're pulling from your core. So make sure your core tight, shoulders over toes, keeping your arms active. Cause that's one thing that I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we kinda sometimes forget about like keeping the arms active. 
the, the, your arms and your feet should be in sync. So just be right there, be comfortable, but be explosive too. Through each turn, I want you to cover as much ground as you can. Go! Flip! 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 I'm standing straight up right now. I need you here. Boom. Here. We flip it. Here. Try to keep your shoulders over your toes the entire rip. Go. Flip. 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 Ball. Nice. That's a good rep. Good rep, bro. Some people don't go in the lake. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Flip! 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 There we go. Ball, ball! There we go. Make a play. Finish. Oh, oh, that's a play right there, boy. Hey. hey I that nigga long, ain't it? <laughs> I tried that's, to throw that ass on. that's a play right there. I'd have been hot, you would have dropped it, though. <laughs> I'd have been hot, you would have dropped it. Flip! Turn! Go. Ball! Okay, though. Nice. Hey. Shit, Tay. You look good. That boy moving. You look good, bro. Oh, hey, I need to screw myself. T yards. Go. Nah, Flip. <laughs> Flip. Turn. Ball. There we go. There we go. This shit gonna be a long time. This shit elite, nah. Ain't gonna do that, nah. Flip. Flip. Turn. Ball. Go get it. Yeah. That's the one. That's a good rep, bro. And it's to do the W, 90, 90 break, 90 return, and maybe get to the box. I'm really gonna try to do that's, all that's of them. That's today? I'm gonna try to get to all of them. We can do it this because. I know that we used to do that tomorrow. We can do that today. Yeah, fact, fact. I'm scared. We ain't got shit to do all day. Let's just go W and 90, and then after that, let's just see how y'all feel. Shut up. Remember, stay real patient, under control, good pad level, and stay at your pace. Don't let the, don't let the pace of the guy right here mess up what you got going you know what i'm saying like still come to balance in the middle and then get back into your pedal don't be going fast and getting all out of control fast and smooth and, and smooth is fast remember that fast is smooth and smooth is fast bro the smoother you look the more fluent you're gonna look you know what i'm saying be be controlled but still be explosive you know what i'm saying if, if that makes sense uh you can start there i'm gonna be right here like how they be at the combine you're gonna rush two you got two dub two w's you come straight through to me go Draw. Like you in this position, you starting in this, and when you plant, you here. When you plant, I need this. I want this still. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm here. I want this still. Still that forward lean, core still tight, shoulders over toes. Not here, and your legs got no bend in them to where you got no power. Like, bro, you a 4-3 runner. So I should be able to see that 4-3 here. You know what I'm saying? But when you break, try to keep that shoulders over your toes and keep that bend. Just a slight bend in your knees. It ain't got to be too much. Like, not overly low, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Low enough to where you can fire out. Good. Lante, you see how when he come out, he still got that forward lean? That's what I want. Go. Drop. Oh. Better. Way better. Way better. Drop. Oh. Both of their situations is kind of unique because I feel like they're going to be better pros than they were in college because they're just scratching the surface from the, you know, from the IQ standpoint, from the, you know, just the mental aspect of the game and it's, that's just the blessing in it all, man. It's like whoever gets these two kids is gonna be, gonna definitely be happy, man. Cause you they gonna get players that love the game. Not only do they love the game, they want to get better. I feel like we cover everything that I could think of that's been in the past. Like we covered even stuff that I've seen at pro days. I've added into you know to see to y'all's training just to check out kind of how you more prepared. But yeah, I feel like we good. Y'all straight? Yeah, I'm good. Come on, what we going on? 90. Right. Just 190 break. Remember, they're going to hold you a little longer in that 90 break, so be real patient in the pedal. Explosive out, explosive out. Ready? Yeah. Go. Drive. <laughs> ah, come on, Mark. Go. Drive. Boom. 
<laughs> yes, that's a great rough. Great rough. You want it back? Yeah, yeah. Be straight. Just focus on your mechanics. Don't overdo it. Just focus on mechanics. Mechanics is what's gonna make you look smooth and fast at the same time. How the rep look? The rep was solid. You just dropped the ball. Yeah. The main thing. Yeah, the <laughs> main thing. Advantage, boy. Ready? Yeah. Go. Drive. My bad. Going left. Ready? Go. Drive. Boom. Yeah, anticipated a little bit. You, you was leaning. You was leaning to the left. Stay straight. They gonna see all that, all the little shit. You know what I'm saying? Drive. Ugh. There we go. Ready? Yeah. Go. Come back. Come on, come on, Mike. What's the deal? Fall step. Fall step. Your first step. Look, your first step. You, 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 you went like this. Instead of you pushing off with that front foot going back, you pushed off with your back foot. Come on, hey, little shit, little shit. I know you a little fatigued, but don't let that fatigue be the reason. You know what I'm saying? Here, here, this is where you're gonna win at, here. You had a bad grip, look. I'd rather you have a bad grip now. So that when you get to Indy, you good. All that shit about your system. But bounce back. Don't, if you think about them other reps, guess what you're gonna do on the next rep? Fuck that rep up. And now we, you know what I'm saying? It's football now, next play, next play, next rep. Next rep, we good, we, ne we good, next rep. Break. There we go. Open. Cover some ground. Cover some ground. Drop. Shit. Try to cover more ground too. You got about two, three yards upfield. Try to push to get like five, six yards. It's gonna make you look different. Ready? Go. Drop. There we go. Open up. Cover ground. Cover ground. Drop. There we go. That's it. That's it, Mark. That's good. That's good. Go. Drop. There we go. Open up. Cover ground. Drop. There we go. There we go. That's good right there. Y'all look good now. Y'all look real good. Go. Draw. There we go. Open. Cover ground. Cover ground. Draw. That's not bad, bro. That's not bad. Go. Draw. Go. Open. Cover ground. Draw. That's not bad. Step. Oh, my bad, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Good. Shit, my bad. Ready? Go. Step. <laughs> Step. Nice. <laughs> Set. You went on cars. Step. Nice. Keep right. that way forward, you kind of rock back on the heels. Yeah, Step. <laughs> nice. Flip it. No, no. Cause look, if I if I go here and you just now reacting, you went hands first before feet. Yeah. So you shot your hand, shoot your hand. What if I go here? Yeah. Now you in uh, chase mode. You know what I'm saying? It's always gonna be feet then hands, feet then hands. Step. There we go. Get your feet. Let me get one more. Step. There we go. See how you went feet then got good though. Yeah. Exactly. But like, when you go, I mean, oh, that's I can't that, really that, go that's, flat. I gotta go there. No, that's, that, that's the exit angle. 45. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Cause you stand on top at that point. I don't need to cut down. I still, most nine times out of ten, you're gonna have a post safety. Yeah. So if I dive hard inside, you got backers right there. Oh, smooth. Post safety in the middle. Yeah, you just working for the cutoff, getting back in that hill. Step. Nice. Ready? Step. Step. Good. Flip it. We're gonna step an inch behind it. Alright. Step. There we go. Thanks. Step. There we go. Yeah. I need great reps right here. Step. There we go. I'll raise up. Yeah, I came up. Felt it. Step. Way to react. Last one. Step. <laughs> ah, got him on them heels. Oh. See what I, what, the reason why I do that when we're working on technique, I want to see how you can kind of see something and react, but then get right back and get poised again. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They might throw something at you. You gotta 
right. and get right back poised again. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then kicks the. Yeah. It ain't always just gonna be silver and gold. Right, fact. Yeah, yeah. Step. There we go. Good. That's a great day. Hey, that might be our best day we done had. Right. I was locked in the whole way. Right. So, I mean, from here on out, I feel like the work is pretty much done. Just like I tell them, the work is done. You know, it, all it is from here on out is just staying confident, staying locked in, you know, being ready for whatever at the combine and really just enjoying it and having fun with it. I think that's where, you know, a lot of guys get get kind of mixed up because it's like they, they put so much pressure on themselves. I feel like knowing that this is the biggest interview of my life, you know, the spotlight going to be on me, not realizing like, bro, y'all already put in the work. You shouldn't even be nervous, bro. You shouldn't be nervous at the combine because of all the work that you put in. The work breeds confidence. Work breeds confidence. So if you really, you know, been true to the grind and true to, you know, the process, you should be fine. God put you in position for a reason. These are all the things I have to remind, you know, the guys I work with of when I train them. Like, bro, you're not a top 50 projection. You're not a first round projection just by chance. Like, it's millions of people playing the game of football and your name was selected to be in this slot. So, you know, embrace it, have fun and compete.